Hey everyone, just a quick update regarding the workshop meeting that we had on Monday, June 3rd at 5.30 p.m. Especially for those of you who haven't had the opportunity to watch the City of YouTube, the City of Alpine YouTube channel regarding the meeting or who were not able to attend, there were four items to be addressed. What this meeting was not, was not meant to be a rehashing minute by minute of what everybody witnessed during the fire. The county already pulled together all of the captains and those in charge of the various agencies that were in attendance. There were about 54 to 56 first responders there from agencies ranging from Texas A&M Forest Service to Marfa, Marathon, Fort Davis, Terlingua, of course, Alpine, uh, Emergent, as far as uh, ambulance services and APD and others. This was not meant to be that, and in our agenda, you can clearly see. First, we wanted to talk about the update that we might have regarding the fire, such as causes and key lessons learned. This fire has been turned over to the state. A fire marshal from Austin came to investigate, took a look at the building, and we will get their results back from their report in two to four weeks. The business, this was the huge thing, the big thing that we were trying to cover and what we were going to do with the building. The business impact plan. How could we help those impacted by this fire, the businesses and the employees? We wanted to spend a lot of time with that to talk about what's needed to get them back up and going so that they can return to their livelihoods. We had Alpine Historic Association in attendance and they discussed the fundraising efforts in the bank account that they have, which currently has about $29,000 in it. The Alpine Historic Association board will meet tomorrow to start going over the applications that have been received and dispersing funds by the end of the week. Next, we move to the building. Texas is a property owner's rights state. This property was owned by a private individual, and that private individual will be the one to determine what happens going forward with his building and what he wants to do with the property. The owner was present. He spoke for a great length of time. He gave his phone number to everyone in attendance, and he also recited it for the YouTube recording. You can go to the YouTube recording and find his phone number if you have information that you would like to share with him, thoughts, ideas, et cetera, on what to do with the property. Lessons learned. This was a section where we wanted individuals to meet our building enforcer, our building code enforcer, our building inspector, and have him available to be able to do any kind of walkthroughs that anybody might want so that he can check the safety and make recommendations on what needs to be done to make sure that the codes are current with that particular building, that everything is good. Those were the objectives. This was not meant to be a rehashing one by one of what each individual saw when they were there witnessing the fire. It was not meant to be anything that would place blame on any one individual or business. The purpose of this workshop was clearly outlined on the agenda. The city of Alpine officials do not know what happened until we hear back from the fire marshal with their report. Please go watch the city of Alpine YouTube channel and take a look at the video. It was very productive. We accomplished what we set out to do, which was understand what the businesses need and what we need to do as a community to get them up and going. And then also provided some ideas for the property owner to consider. Thank you.